Good morning. How are we doing today? My name is James Sweeney, aka Split Suit, joined as always by Chris Warren. Chris, we are going to have some fun talking about a pocket nines hand that gets a little bit nutty. Ready to rock and roll? Let's do it. All right, excellent. All right, so in this situation, we have pocket nines playing six max, 10 no limit. Here decides to open from the cutoff, gets called by the big blind. Nothing too shocking or exciting here. Flop is ace ace jack, big blind checks, and here decides to fire for half ish pot. So everything at this point kind of looks fine to me. This is a situation where I know we talk a lot about kind of these smaller size flop C bets, but this one seems kind of okay to go just a little bit larger instead of something closer to third ish pot, something closer to half ish pot or 40 to 50% makes sense just because we are going to knock back here sometimes with the Jack X. So it's kind of one of those, if we are going to be betting a little bit larger, seems to make some sense here. What about you in this spot? Yeah, totally agree. It's it's one of the the weird dry ace high flops where uh, betting larger makes a lot of sense. So um, I'm 100% with it. Cool. Excellent. All right. So as played, big wine calls. Turn is a nine, kind of a beautiful little turn card there. Big blind checks, and here decides to fire for roughly pot in this situation. So what are your thoughts at this stage in the game? Oh, yeah. This is a... It's interesting because we had such a pretty straightforward flop, and because of that, we have a very dynamic turn. Um, I think the number one thing I'm thinking about in this situation is, you know, what... what va You know, nut hands, what strong hands does my opponent have? Should they have ace-king? No. Can they have jacks? No. Can they have ace queen sometimes? But you know, discount it. Uh, similar with ace jack, and then there's, and that's essentially like fewer combinations, anyways. So the amount of nut hands they can have is just exceptionally low here. And interestingly enough, because of that, this is a very good situation to overbet with our entire range, and that works both for our bluffs because now they're having a tough time calling and they you know, we'll just struggle to call enough. Um, but also on the other side, where with our hands like Ace-X, they're going to feel obligated to call more because we know they have such a weak range in general. And so, you know, I'm always trying to play my entire range. I really like an overbet here. It puts a ton of pressure on them, lets me value bet my hands. You know, there's probably a nice balance point there. 150% uh, pot looks pretty good to me. It does look pretty darn good. And like you said, we have massive nut advantage here. We can have quads. We can have way more full houses. And yeah, they might have some extra ace X. You know, maybe they defend with a little bit of like ace three offsuit and maybe we don't necessarily have all of those. But I think overall we're we're doing totally perfect here. And I really like the overbet. I mean, the overbet applies so much pressure to their jack x kind of hands i mean obviously they're going to feel like okay i have to continue with ace x and can't really blame them all that much but like whenever their jack x hand is going to hate life that's a great great time to consider amping up the price <laughs> and applying a lot of pressure and like you said it works on the the bluff sides and also the value sides of your range so uh i'm liking that and you said like 150 percent so like 150 in the spot yeah feels about right you know it's like even even with the hands like nines, you know, it's not a disaster if they fold like uh, some of their weaker ace X's because those hands are vulnerable. Where you know, if they hit their kicker, we're going to get stacked. So, um, it seems like a fine spot for me to just be totally cool with a, a bigger bet. It's a great way to you know, I'd want a better bluffs like this too. So, um, yep. excellent, makes sense to me. So big one decides to call. Nothing really super exciting so far, other than a nice big hand for us. But the river is curious in this spot with the ace and big blind decides to lead into us for a little more than pot so this sucks absolutely sucks uh, i don't know I, I i think this is a pretty easy fold but what are your thoughts at this stage in the game yeah i, I think it's almost everyone will see this and be like okay like this is starting to look like a fold anytime if they had continued with the jack x which is very logical um you know, they're, of course, beating us. And, um, yeah, the tricky part, and I think this is the part where we would want to look to balance a little bit, is what hands do we have that can call that aren't quads? And it is interesting to just think about that. Like, what, you know, what could we possibly have? Is Villain able to take advantage of us in some way where, you know, 
they've just figured out, oh, them having quads is so unlikely. There's only, you know, X, Y, Z commas of it. <clears throat> Can they just donk out and bluff us here? And what hands would they do that with? Now, in this specific situation, I think it's pretty clear that there, there aren't too many hands, but it is interesting to explore. And, you know, what would, what would, what hands would we call with that aren't quads? Hmm. It's so weird because you look at this and I'm like, I don't think they fire this with Jack X, right? I don't think they fire with bottom boat. So it's really like hyper, hyper polarized. Yep. We either found the weird ace or it's a lot of nothing, but like, it's just not a lot of like nothing that makes a lot of sense with the flop call and turn call. I mean, we're talking like queen, 10 of diamonds, king, yeah. queen of diamonds. Like there's not tons of it. Maybe the and occasional if they had, king, queen, pure. Sure. Right. Exactly. And if they had like deuces or trays or something like that, like, I don't think they turn that into a fire here for the same reason. I don't think they fire the Jack. Eh, I don't know. Like what is your bottom call here? Queens. If you're going to call Queens, do you call Jack X? I mean, I don't, I don't functionally see much of a difference there. Well, that's the weird part. I don't think we can have Queens because why would we be firing the turn? Sure. Uh, yeah. um, you know, ideally for our overbet. Um, I don't think we even have it. So, and same with, same with Kings. And yeah, I mean, I think we're pretty much in a spot where it's like we either call with quads. I think we have to call with um, some of our Jack, um, uh, Jack boats. And our jack boats, or maybe we call it all of our jack boats because our only jack boats would be um, pocket jacks. Pocket jacks. Yeah. Um, so maybe that's a good way to balance it out. But I just thought it was really, it's a really fascinating scenario where it's like almost we're calling with like, they're only betting with quads or bluffing. And then we're only calling with, you know, quads or whatever. But I think, I think we could, I think we might want to just call with our jack boats here. And this one's probably just a, an easy fold as most people know. Yeah, I'm in agreement with that. And Hero does end up finding that full button, which I like. Kind of a very, very weird hand, right? One where it goes from totally, totally standard to, well, that's pretty much the worst river in the world facing <laughs> a very, very rough action. But yeah. it happens, and uh, what are you going to do? But this hand was posted by Crow Digley over on the Red Chip Poker Discord. If you want to join us today and post your own hands, you can do so at redshippoker.com slash discord. We'd love to see you over there. Uh, Chris, any last-minute thoughts on this spot? No, let's call it. Nice. I like it. Thank you so much for posting this hand. If you have any comments or questions, don't hesitate to let us know. And of course, a like and sub would be massively appreciated as well. And without further ado, we'll see you back with another video later. And in the meantime, good luck out there and happy grinding.